I'm Paula Wethington from the Monroe News, and this is your Monroe in a Minute. The river raisin fell below flood stage this morning after having been under a flood warning since Thursday. Although there is rain in the forecast today, the National Weather Service said dry weather this weekend helped ease the situation along the river. The annual fireworks show at Sterling State Park is up in the air as sponsorship money has been slow. In recent years, the show and related activities cost about $11,000 to host. But Jason Morgan, unit supervisor at the park, said only $2,000 has been pledged so far. The Monroe County Convention and Tourism Bureau used to line up corporate donations and sponsors for this event, but the Tourism Bureau's new director, Matt Zook, has stepped away from sponsoring events and instead will focus just on promotion efforts. Tuesday is Election Day for some school districts and townships. Estrell Beach, the Frenchtown Township Resort District, Jefferson Schools, and London Township are all seeking millage requests. Here on Schools wants approval of your bond issue. Polls are open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can check your voter registration and polling locations at michigan.gov vote. And finally, Monroe County's historical markers are getting repairs and a new look through the efforts of the Monroe County Museum and Monroe County Historical Commission. This effort is expected to take several years to complete, but the first four markers to be repaired and recolored were unveiled Sunday. You can see the new blue and silver design for the markers at Dorsch Library and First Presbyterian Church and at the county seat and old whipping post markers around LaRanger Square. I'm Paula Wethington and that's your Monroe in a Minute update.